right guys, welcome back to part two. Once again, we're out at Palma Valley here in San Diego. This is like Northeast San Diego. It's about a 40 minute drive from where we live in Ranch Bernardo area. Absolutely beautiful golf course. We are doing a giveaway here. So check that link down below. Make sure you guys get entered into the giveaway. And if you guys are interested in picking up any of our hats or any of our merchandise, link's gonna be down there as well, golfolics.com. 187 yard part three right here. A couple bunkers up there on each side. Pin looks like it's in the back and uh, pretty good size green. Uh, looks pretty slopey though from back to front. Uh, it's just another fun hole out here and we'll see if, uh, if we can roll some putts in. I'll be hit this right at the pin, but caught it just a tiny bit heavy. Slip. And I think he'll be in the front part of the green. Did you slip on that? Big Cat pulled it just a little bit right of the pin. Distance control I think is good. It should be on the green. Started that at the flag with a pretty good sized draw, headed for that bunker on the left. And looks like it should have flown it. Should be just over there on the left side. Coach started that pretty far out to the right, but this thing is swooping on back and over. And looks like it's gonna be on the right side of the green. Probably pin high. Nice shot, coach. All right, I think this is B right here. Closest Marco. to, actually, let me take that back. This one's Marco. B is right here, just shy of the green. I think Paulie carried the bunker. He's somewhere back in that region. And uh, let's see what he's got. Oh yeah, he's got a fun little chip right here. So Polly just pulled his a little bit left. He's uh, got a fun little chip up the hill towards the pin. Uh, and I hit a pretty good six iron right there. I got about 25 feet left. Man, these greens are good out pretty far he's got about seven feet left wow great effort yeah really good all right well done those were two excellent two putts right there guys We're on hole number eight, it's a par four, it's 443 yards, and this is a really hard dog leg to the right. You guys can see that really big tree out there. It bends uh, almost 80 degrees right there to the right. You definitely have to play a fade here. This tree does come into play for me with the swoop, so I, uh, I teed up on the left side. Over here to the left, this hole is tough for me because you got to play a draw, and you guys know I don't really have that in the bag. But it's all good, got a good lie. Um, 175 left. I'm gonna just hit a four iron, try to keep it under these limbs, and just try to get it somewhere around the green and try to get up and down. Ooh, this one looks yeah, good. Hit hard. All right, nice shot, Marco. Heading towards the right side, right in front. Really good shot. All right, so. Got a little bit of dirt with that one. Just, you know, part of the territory. <laughs> but we'll get that cleaned up. <laughs> Playing a cut, huh? I had to on this hole. I finally did it. <laughs> Took everything I had. Um, I've got 179, hit that drive pretty good. Uh, just gonna, you know, basically hit a, a little knockdown six iron and uh, left of the pin's good. Started that right side of the green, drawing it back over. And it looks like it's heading for right side still. Yeah, I think he's just on the front part of the green. Not too bad. What do we got left, Paul? Got 165 left. 165. Great drive up here, man. Thank you. He jumped on a little tiny bit, but it's started at the pin, drawn over to the left, and looks like it is just in the, just a little bit deep in the left uh, first cut. Pull my drive over here a little bit to the left. I got a buck 61. Um, 
but this tree branch is hanging down, so I'm gonna have to keep it low. Just kind of try to run one up there with a six iron. All right, so B cut is a little bit heavy uh, coming out of the uh, the embankment right there, and then Marco, he's right in front of the green. He's got a pretty straightforward chip shot. Um, and let's see. And I am about 30 feet just right of the pin with the tough ridge. Paulie's just on the fringe right here. He had a good shot from back there. So we got 42 left after that punch out. Uh, hopefully I can get up and down from here. Oh wow, that had some sauce on it. What a shot right there, B. Okay. Pretty well done, just got about 10 feet left. Good par. Thank you. Great up and down. Take that, baby, all day. Yeah, nice work there, B. Woo. Loving it out here as usual. All right, par four here, 411 yards, going right back towards the clubhouse. And this one looks pretty straight ahead. So there's water surrounding the screen, so you just want to get into position here and uh, see what we got in from there. But it's all the second shot hole. That driver just a little bit to the right and jumped on it. Played a big old draw. Got 127 left in the kitchen wedge. Marco pulled it a little bit, but I think it's fading. Coach has got a pretty nasty side hill over here. He just missed the fairway to the left, and this thing is going to be well below his feet. Yeah, like Marco mentioned, it's probably about six inches below my feet. Uh, I got 153, a little into the wind. Just going to hit a smooth eight iron. Coach started that right, and it's going right. Um, it's, yeah, it's over that bunker on the right. I'm not sure what's over there. Paul's got uh, 150 here with a little wind in the face, and uh, there's a horseshoe pond around this ninth green. Kept it low, going right at the stick. Be close. Nice. So just missed the fairway here in the left rough. I got a buck 22 left, so I'm gonna uh, hit a little wedge in there. Looks pretty good. Oh man, yeah, great shot. Pin high, 10 footer. All right, so there's Paul on the far left and then that's me way over there. Um, happy to just have gotten over that water to be honest with you. You guys just saw B's shot come up, coming up here. Um, I think just plugged in there. The greens are very soft. So coach stayed up. I don't know how that didn't roll in the water, but um, he's got a pretty tough shot from down here. He's about five feet below the surface of this green and the pin is right there, so he's gonna have to nip this. I think just bit, but that's all right. He's, he's up there, six footer, nice shot. On hole 10, it's a par four, it's 391 yards, a uh, really tight fairway, OB left, and all uphill, dog leg to the left. Uh, very tough hole, green is also very undulated, and it looks like the pin is back right, so should be fun.
All right, guys, did hit a great drive up here. Got 174 left. I'm gonna go with the seven iron. Just hit it full, try to find the middle of the screen and get out of here with the par. Started right at the pin with a little draw. It's gotta fly. Yeah, and it did. Oh, it looks like it hit the cart path, so it might be on the other side. All right, got 142, push that drive a little bit to the right. I'm just gonna hit a hard pitching wedge right here. Can't go long, and I'm gonna miss a little bit left, hopefully. Started that middle of the green with a tiny bit of a draw. And got over, took a nice hop. I think he's gonna be pin high. So I'll pull my three wood left here in the rough. Got about a buck 65 to an uphill pin, and uh, I'm gonna hit a seven iron. All right, looks like B hit a phenomenal shot right there. He's probably got about seven feet left. I ended up uh, hitting a wedge just a little heavy and I ended up shy of the, you know, the pin, got about a 30 footer. Paul striped to drive down here. He's got uh, 139 playing about 150 to a back right pin. Mm, that sounded so pure. Yep, what a golf shot right there. Feeding towards the hole like a seasoned veteran. Wow. Wow, getting better. Woo, what a golf shot right there. Well done. Uh, so Big Cat just uh, pulled that iron a little bit to the right. He's got this tough mound to work with. And as you guys can see, everything feeds off that hill very fast. So he's gonna have to put a little spin on it. Well, that was really well done. That's all you can really do. It's got about 10, 11 feet left. Side door it. Oh! Woo. Come on, let him in. Oh man. Such a pure oh, there. What a putt. Well done. Great Woo. three there, B. You do not see three at number 10 at Palma quite often. You just saw it twice. <laughs> And almost a two. All right, this is just one awesome par five, 559 yards. As you can see, we're up here pretty high. and It's gonna be going straight downhill and to the left. A couple bunkers down there on, the on each side of the fairway, and that's really pretty much the landing zone there. Um, if you pump one, you can go up a little bit further past that, and then it's turning hard left, and uh, you guys will see what we got coming up from there. down here in the fairway right next to coach's ball right there and you guys can see this thing turns hard left so right where I'm facing is not the green that's just more fairway the green is over these trees and right down there you can kind of barely see the flag stick it's yellow so you want to go for this one you better muster up three wood and hit it high I'm going three wood <laughs> it's a little into the wind I think okay. I got about 255 I'm just gonna try and pump it up there you got that 16 and a half degree makes sense it sure does get that bad boy up in there Oh, he hammered that right over yeah, the trees yes, with a nice started. swoop. This thing's headed right at the flag shot. stick. Good shot, bud. Yeah. I think it's gonna be on the green, man. Good shot. Yeah, that was pretty lucky right there not to hit the trees. Mm. I'm gonna just hit a seven iron layup here, wedge him to death. I right, hit that pretty good, fading over. Should be middle of the fairway. Pull my drive over here to the left. Really don't know uh, how far I have, but I'm gonna hit a rescue and try to carve one through the trees here. You got about 230, 235. Oh, it's gonna be fine. All right, laid it up to perfection. Got about 108 left. I'm gonna hit an approach wedge, just choke down a little. Oh man, he hit this really well. Just left the pin drawn over. Paul's got 108. He's got a wedge and just a great look at this pin. He's gonna get real aggressive. Came in a little heavy, a little bit left. It's fine, easy up and down. All right, so coach ended up just in front of the green right here. He almost got it there, he was about seven yards short. And you guys can see the, where the pin's at right here. Very small green here. 
So if you're gonna go for it, not a lot of places to go. So the other guys are over here. I went a little bit long, Paul missed to the left. Ryan hit his second shot to the back side of the green, so he's gonna be coming up for an eagle. Very nice shot. Back, a little three footer left. All right, just on the fringe. Yeah, come on, baby. All right. Thought it was gonna go in, dude. We're on hole number 12. It is a par three, really tough, 210 yards. Looks like the pin is kind of front middle, surrounded by bunkers and some hazards to the left. So uh, gotta hit a good one here. Oh, Paul hit that at the pin with a draw. And it's gonna be close. Marco hit this one really well. Started just right of the pin, fading out towards it. Yeah, I think it's all over it. Great shot. Just started at the flag with a little draw, but this looks really good. Just a tiny bit left of the pin. Yeah, it looks like it's up there. Nice shot, Mike. Nice shot, Coach. Ski hit a freaking bullet here, straight up in the air, headed for right at Mike's ball, basically. And we'll see if we got there. The mic ended up just right of the flag stick, maybe a little eight footer, awesome shot. I ended up landing right next to it and just kind of sucked it back somehow with the four iron. But I'll take that, pretty tough hole here. Beastie was a little bit short, he took too much off of his four, I think he hit a four iron from back there. Oh, he got straight under it. Paul went way left. There's a road up there, landed on the road and just rolled out of, to where he's at. Landed that in a good spot, but this thing is just feeding away from him and just off the green there. Not much you can do there. Oh, great effort. Oh! Yep. Sorry about that. All right. Just barely touched that. Wow, I can't believe how far that rolled out. It's still gone. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, dude. Exactly. Push the mat. That's how you debate. Way to not let that. Uh, that first putt was not for the match, very good, dude. but uh, that was really fast and uh, nothing I could do. Wanted to make a birdie. Still haven't made one today, so. The fight continues. Yeah, fun continues. Tell us about that par three. Was that the easiest hole in the course? Yeah, it's actually the 18th handicap, and uh, you know it's 205 <laughs> yards uphill, skinny little green, slopes back to front. So you're saying it's going to get harder from here? I would say that it's not the easiest hole <laughs> in the course, but yeah. Well, that was a fun one, Coach. How are we doing today? Having a great time out here. The course is beautiful. There's no wind. It's like 80 degrees. Hanging with my boys. Just a real good day. All right guys, we're gonna end part two right here. We're having an awesome time out here. This course is super fun, it's tough, it's beautiful. So, you know, you get sucked into all the nice views, the beautiful greens, you know, the, the serenity of it, but uh, it'll, it'll slap you down in the face if you're not paying attention. Yeah, and uh, it's 7,100 yards, par 71. Uh, the whole course is really soft, so it plays a lot longer. We played a couple tees back, so it's probably more like 7,200 for us, but uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying it as much as we are. And also guys, make sure you uh, check the links down below. We're doing a giveaway in this video. Uh, get entered into that. Let's force them out here. Big thank you to Palma for having us out. See you guys back for part three.